right. Well, hello again. Here with Malak in my, my writing workshop. And we're talking about a really uh, powerful story that she wants to write on, which I certainly am excited about. And I wanted her to tell uh, you a little bit about it for her sake, so she can organize it in her head, and for my sake, so I can look at it, and also for your sake, because it's something you should hear. So you're from Iraq, initially. You ended up in Syria, mm -hmm. another happy choice for you. <laughs> and, and you ended up here. And, and so you're having a tough time now, because why don't you tell what's happening in Iraq and, and how you're um, watching it? So there is a lot of stuff going on in my country, Iraq. Um, there is a revolution going on, and like everybody, like, in like everybody, no, nobody in their houses. Everybody's outside, protesting for their rights. Even kids, mothers, dads, nobody's in the house. Everybody in a in like a place where they can protest. But like, the problem is the people went down there to get their rights. Like they don't, they didn't have nothing but their voices and the flags and the and the government they got their they got weapons and stuff that they use it against the people, like the people they just want their rights they don't want nothing but instead of the government helping them they are killing them they are stealing their money like they killing kids they don't care how old are you they don't care if you old if you young they don't respect nobody they kill everybody. Now how are you following the story? Um, my mom and I have family back there. I have my grandpas, my grandma, my uncles. Yeah, they back there. And even my grandpa, he got hit in his head when he was there. And you're seeing these videos. People are putting up videos on yes. Facebook. Yes, my mom, she showed me videos on Facebook how people are dying and like. So the people, they take videos and they go live because the news wouldn't show what's really going on. They show a part of it, but not how the government are killing the people. So the people, when they go live, like they show how people are dying. Like it's it's so horrible to the point like I could see their brain, brain coming out when they get shot in their head and everything. Like it's really sad. And like, I just, I want to write about it. I want to help them somehow, even though I'm far away. I feel helpless because I'm in America and they in Iraq, like across the ocean. So I'm trying Do to- Do you have friends people. and family there? You have a lot of people you know I have there. a lot of, like all my families are there. Yep, that's the buzzer there. Just wait for that to stop. There we go. So you, you said, I asked if you wanted to go back and you said yes, which kind of surprised me a little bit. I want to go back because like of what's going on in my country. I want to help them. Even, even I know like one person like can't really do anything, but like I want to stand beside them. I want to support them. Like I want to do whatever I could, like bring food, like help the people who get injured, like do anything to feel like to make me feel like I did something for my country, you know? Because you're feeling very helpless. Yes. Like, even though I moved here in America, like, I will never forget where I came from. I will never forget my country. Like, they're always in my heart, even though I'm far away. And so you want to write about it, and we're talking about how to write about it. I, I suggested to Alok that one great way would be to her just walk us through an evening where she goes and looks at these and the things she sees and how she feels about them. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm, as your teacher, I sort of hope you don't go back, but um, <laughs> but but it's uh, it must be very painful for you to see that. It and is. I think it's great that you want to write about it. And what do you want to accomplish by writing about it? I want people to really see what's going on in my country, and like because people don't really care about it anymore. Like they only they only like they got used to it. They got used to what's going on in the world. They hate the the aggressive way so they got used to it they see like the news oh this is we got used to it but like i really want them to read it and see what's really going on how my people are hurting inside like they don't have nobody but like nobody but themselves like it's it's really hard like even though the government are not really helping them they like bringing water and food and making a lot of stuff so are you gonna, is this something you do every night? You watch these videos? Yeah, my mom always showed me the videos. And so when did you get the idea to write about it? Huh? When did you decide to write about it? Why? When? Oh, when? Um, when it started, I like, I was like, I should change my idea and write about my country. I think it's a wonderful thing for you to do that. So I'm happy to be able to work with you about it. And I wanna thank you for sharing it. It'll be interesting to develop it and see where it goes. <clears throat> I think next step is for us to do an outline together. Yeah. And uh, and you're sort of up for it, right? Mm -hmm. Is it very painful for you? 
it hurt it really hurt inside it hurt but like what really hurts my heart <laughs> it really hurt inside because seeing my people dying like they so innocent like i'm my country really don't deserve all of this like i don't i really don't it's been going on for so long and, so, and it just gotta stop well let's work together and write a great great piece about it i'm, I'm very happy to be working with you and i'm glad you you told me about it so all right so onward and we'll see you and we'll we'll talk to you and you have my email you know how to reach me we can talk about it and we'll sit down and do an outline next step so stay tuned folks i think this is going to be a good story thank you a lot no problem